my day, we didn't have these fancy things called trees. I will hang you. Why? Hello. Oppenheimer. Does this not count as sexual harassment? Lucas! Fuck, how do I begin this? <laughs> Start with hello, everybody. <laughs> it's been so long, you forgot how to, how to YouTube. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't upload regularly, like I do. Shut up. <laughs> hello, everybody, in Dom601. Ron Victor here, and here I am joined. By. Uh, Zainri Born, who is also joined by. Yeah, mum. <laughs> that Your is not mum. That is not the first time I've heard you say that. Actually, Your that is mother. true. I, I am a hack. I'm repeating jokes. We know. We can tell. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so, doctor, what are we doing here? Don't you call me doctor ever again. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hey, uh, it's, doc, it's I've your got new a severe name. medical condition. I need, to, I need to be looked at. Um, Fuck off. Eat shit and die. <laughs> so, today... We are doing yet another commentary where we will be watching Life on Our Planet, narrated no, by Morgan Freeman. Yeah, you gotta Ugh. do the voice when you say it. Life on Our Planet. Come to you. Come Life to you, on you. Our Planet. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> you're, you're too... I'm Morgan Freeman, and you're this is Life on Our Planet. This is Morgan Freeman, and these are my balls. But before starting this video, I will say... We aren't doing every episode because we like dinosaurs. This is a dinosaur channel. Is and it? not every episode has dinosaurs. Oh. Yes, Smilodon, Mammoths, we don't we don't care about any of those. Pathetic. <laughs> Ah! Oh. Boo! <laughs> Shall I turn up the volume? Yeah. Oh my god, a pussy. <laughs> hey look, it's Nigel Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> he, he got turned into a cat? No, 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 he's in the background somewhere. He's setting up the uh, time portal. <laughs> it's gonna take him back. Yeah. Do, do, <laughs> do, do. I will say the effects do look great here, because apparently a lot, a lot of the visual effects here were done by ILM, Industrial Light and Magic, who are like one of the big visual effects people in the industry. And they did most of the effects for the Jurassic World movies. Well, Jurassic in general. Oh. Yeah, because they use, they reuse a lot of Jurassic World assets in this. Hence why there's a few peculiar looking dinosaurs later on. That explains quite a bit. Oh, did the dolphin just fart? <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, it's your mum! God damn! T-Rex didn't have feathers. This zero out of ten. <laughs> Four billion years ago. Wow! Hold on, Zane. What? Are those the only dinosaurs we see? No, wow. no, no. There are dinosaurs in this episode. Right, because I was thinking, huh, maybe, maybe we should have skipped this one too if it was just in that intro. Uh, no, 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 I definitely chose you this episode saying, oh, there's a dinosaur, there are dinosaurs in this episode, and it was just that first five minutes, that was it. Yeah, now we're gonna see nothing but modern life now. Ah, yes, modern, modern life. life, four Who? billion <laughs> years ago. We only like dinosaurs because they're extinct. What? We'll infinitely like modern life if it was all extinct. That's our goal here. <laughs> that's humanity's goal. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the, the the mystique of dinosaurs because they're extinct. They what? Humanity is causing so many extinction events. So every single creature would be considered really cool in the future. Not even joking, actually. That's quite sad. Like a thousand, like I don't know, t like ten thousand years from now, people are gonna look in uh, museums and see regular tigers and lions and be like, whoa. This used to be on Earth. 
That's if we are still around 10,000 years in the future. Eh, some other species will take our place. The earliest animals to attain supremacy were simple life forms. Uh. So me? Uh. <laughs> I didn't realize life was this horny on <laughs> Orcas getting down bad for aquatic marine life. <laughs> it's very bloody sus. Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs! Dinosaur king is what you wanna be, yeah! I will hang you! Wow. Dominion? Oh, oh, just, just you wait, just you wait. Those are butterfly <laughs> eggs. Yep. Imagine pulling that out. Capable of killing anything that eats them. It's chemical warfare. <laughs> chemical, chemical warfare. <laughs> God damn. Oppenheimer. <laughs> Ants. Bugs life. <laughs> Bugs life too. Anyway, bird. Dinosaur. That, that counts as a dinosaur. Terrabird is fresh. True, actually. We have to com 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 commentate on this bit because dinosaur. Dude's See? got a fresh trim. Exactly. I like a cut, G. <laughs> anyway, okay, you two need to voice this. Oi, bruv, come on, bring it. When you want to go, mate, I'll take you down to I'll take you fucking down. I'll take you dancing if you if you beat what? me. <laughs> Why is it gone oddly romantic? <laughs> because I am bisexual. Oh, dance off. Yeah, dance off, bro. You wanna go, bruv? Yeah. I'll take you down. Let's take this to the dance floor. God damn, this is so intimate. <laughs> It's literally a dance fight. It is. <laughs> I told you I was a better dancer. Shh, no, be very don't. quiet. I'm hunting buddies. Oh, uh. he doesn't uh -oh. know. Uh. Toothpicks, we gotta run. What you Hello doing? there. Uh. Mm, you oh yes, mm, buddy, we haven't fried you chicken idiot. tonight. <laughs> you could have warned me. The closest thing that guy ever got to the pussy. Ew. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> What did he say? I, I'm not sure we want this one. I think it's contaminated. <laughs> Hello! Probably should have gone after that one instead, but whatever. Food is food. Bye! When you guys started talking about dancing, I'm like, oh my gosh, wait. They're actually gonna dance. <laughs> I knew it was coming, and the moment you said dance, I'm like, oh, they did it. They predicted it. <laughs> We're just that good. <laughs> what the hell? The earth looks like it has a pimple. <laughs> It's going through puberty. <laughs> True, actually. I mean, this is a very young Earth. Earth Chan in her 20s or something. <laughs> Did you just say Earth Chan? Who's who's been paid to just go outside and just film? <laughs> yes. That's all they did, is like, right, we need to get shots of Earth. Ah, uh, yes, they filmed this. But there was one period when Earth was stable for 100 million years. All I'm gonna say is dinosaurs made for water bear plants. It's, everything's very brown. He's so cute. They've got very big, <laughs> they've got very pronounced eyebrows. Oh, is this, is this a nest in sight? Duh. What do you mean, duh? <laughs> Bit slow on that one, Doctor. Excuse me! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna walk through. Excuse me, pardon me! Okay, hold on, calm down. I'm just walking through. No, no need to get mad. No need to get angry. Okay, I'm Away. walking the other way, okay? Ah! Walk it in! Will you calm down? You're not even walking, you're sitting! Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Vor. So who wants to voice this one? Uh, Chomp. It's Chomp. Mate, w w we don't have to voice every single dinosaur. Yes, we do. Sometimes we can just joke about a sequence. Nah, nah, we do. You voice him. Go. <laughs> but of course we'll still do voices occasionally. Yeah, now. <laughs> alright, alright. <laughs> you, you, you don't need to point a gun to my head. <laughs> <laughs> do the voice now! <laughs> no! No, I won't. I refuse! Do it! 
Oh. Otherwise, you won't make, you won't be in the next casting call. It's just, <laughs> it's just Morgan Freeman on the other side. <laughs> Please, let me know, Mr. Mister Freeman. You won't make it to the David Attenborough documentary. But I've, I've already filmed that. You won't be in the sequel. I was in the sequel. Good eye, Mike. <laughs> Back from Daddy. Oh. I mean, Mummy. Mummy, can we can we kill it? Can we rip its flesh uh, off? Uh, yeah, yeah, just, 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 just one sec. Uh, fucking hell. Shut the fuck up, Ken. <laughs> no. Come here, you little. <laughs> what, 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 what am I running? I've got holes in my eyes. Mummy, can we kill its tail? I want its tail. I mean, it's children. Yeah, yeah, just, it's like my little children. To the left. I, but I want the frill. I bit its frill. I got the frill. Mummy, I bit its tail off. Look at the horns. damage. Oh, Mummy, help. Oh, the... oh, my gosh. There's more of them. Hold on, Mummy. We can do this. We can still do this, Mummy. We can all kill them all. Lots of failures. I'm going to go back and um, find my other friend. And we're going to revamp the sitcom. I forgot what it was. <laughs> 66 million years ago. Okay, so Are we Orca. See the extinction event in the first episode. Yeah. So Orca, you remember what you want? Okay, now you can talk about the equivalent of the Earth getting struck by a meteor. If I don't know what that is. Whoops. Oh, so that's a great shot. Oh, just showing how small it is. Wow. Was that? Was that Megamind's pod? Megamite's arrival! <laughs> that really gives perspective though, I do love that. How like small it looks. Yeah, and it does this much damage. The the, the earth just fell over. <laughs> Landed on its forehead. It scraped its knee. Yeah. Someone threw a rock at <laughs> it scraped its knee. <laughs> Someone threw a rock at riding a bike. That is so sad. Can we hit fifty million likes? <laughs> This is so sad. The dinosaurs died. Can we get one billion likes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, how many dinosaurs died? Can we get a like yes. for every single dinosaur? Died? Lucas! <laughs> ah! Hold on! Fifth mass whoa. extinction. Whoa, whoa, hold on! What is it? I gotta pause. Why? Music fade. There is a mouse in here! What? There is an Ow. actual mouse in here! It's Mickey! Oh, hi guys! <laughs> what you watching? Oh, I've come for your kidneys! Uh, Is hang he not on. on Disney Plus? Oh gosh, I. Uh -huh. <laughs> you guys are joking! I will kill there, you! There is literally a mouse in here. Oh, it's still it's still moving. Oh no! Oh, it's tiny. Uh -huh. <laughs> huh? Is that Netflix? I'm coming for you, bitch! <laughs> I hate Netflix. <laughs> Mickey, no, I'm not paying for Disney Plus. I hate unions too. <laughs> I'm Mickey, I don't care. I don't care what you add on Disney Plus. I'm not paying for like it. Don't you like Star Wars? <laughs> don't you like Marvel? Don't you want to watch Disney's dinosaurs? <laughs> Feet. A moose. The mammoths. Without the asteroid strike, none of these survivors would have had a chance to rule. And they also wouldn't have had a chance to be killed by all of us. Would that necessarily be true, though? All this talk about humans causing mass extinction and then eventually just uh, us being wiped off the planet. That just reminds me of uh, The Future is Wild. With the with uh. the swinging octopus, yeah. <laughs> does, does my documentary end with, 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 like, squids taking over the land? Pretty much, yes. The peak evolution is squid. <laughs> Oh my god, they are, that's so cute. That isn't cute. Now that is cute. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of cute in this. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> oh, look at that. Uh, that is, this is just like eldritch horror. Ah yes, we have returned. The evil that is Baku. We have returned. We have multiplied. Oh yes. Take over the world. I... Eddie. Hey look, it's Igrazil. It's what? <laughs> you definitely heard me. What? I totally said that right. What the fuck is Yggdrasil? Do you not know what the world tree is? Yeah, that. I thought it was just called the world tree. No. It's called the Yggdrasil tree. 
I didn't know it had a name. I thought the world tree was the name. Well, it's probably like the English translation for it, like the world serpent, where it's called Jormungandr. 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 I can't Jormungandr. That's it. Jormungandr. But your mum kind of. So, <laughs> the, the, shut up. I have a bit of a serious question here. How the heck does anyone know what the world was like back then? How is anyone able to theorize this was Earth billions of years ago? We saw, we saw a documentary on this. Yeah. Nigel Marvin went back in time <laughs> and he was there. He saw the creation of the universe. He is God. Uh, anyway, <laughs> the world was nothing but plankton. <laughs> plankton was the first being. Uh, oh what God. you didn't realize is that the Krabby Patty secret formula was our birthright. The <laughs> Earth is our birthright. Everything what? is our birthright. My mind isn't able to comprehend how <laughs> whales are able able to eat this for food and survive. They don't. They eat visible fish. Are you joking? Oh my god. Orca shush. <laughs> we know <laughs> Those look like teeth. <laughs> Why is just life in Orca shush! So <laughs> Orca shush! Oh, I don't like that. Does this not count as sexual harassment? Okay, I will say... Anemone. I'll say this. Anemone. Hold on a second. What? That thing. Is that CG? No, it's not. I, I can't tell. This is real. It's this is a real animal that's still alive today. What the fuck? This is weird. Okay, I'll say what this. What am I looking at? I'm, I'm trying to explain, dang it! <laughs> well, do it uh, then. Never mind, you ruined it. This is life. <laughs> life on our planet. It has- oh my god, those <laughs> eyes. So, there are a lot of moments- just- this entire documentary is basically like- Five- for most, like, later episodes anyway, not this one. Five minutes of prehistoric stuff, and then followed by ten minutes of modern stuff. But this episode specifically, it kind of does that too. But this is my favorite episode because when it does cut back between the two segments of, like, prehistoric and modern, I'm okay with it. Because, one, the prehistoric segments are actually pretty lengthy in this episode. Like what we're seeing right now. And mm. two... The modern stuff they do show, for the most part, is actually stuff I've never seen before. Which is why this episode really stuck out to me. Really? Yes. Hold on. Did those, did those little things evolve into jellyfish eventually? There's your answer! I'm somehow in both disturbment and horrified. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, I thought that was a Pokemon. Never mind. A surge of primal is. fear just went throughout my entire body. Amaranth, I choose you! Yeah, I love Anorath. <laughs> I hate this thing. Wait, I think I accidentally said the Twitch streamer, not the Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, sure, Orca. I sh I'm sure you'll love them too. <laughs> Watching them with I have one no hand. Idea who that is. <laughs> Whoopsie. It's searching for one of the ancient ocean's greatest sites. Your mum. <laughs> <laughs> That's my job. Shut up. No. I'm the one who's supposed to be making all the D's nuts. I am made a D's nuts joke in this entire recording. Are you proud of me? No. It's so long. That's what she said. <laughs> I was about Why? To say that. <laughs> why am I friends with you two? Look at it. Wait. I know. This is another reason why this is my favorite. Look at this thing. It looks so real. God, that looks so good. Did it just fart? Oh no, it just burped. You idiot. Yes, it farted out a corpse. I absolutely love oh, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so canonically, that's our uh, that's our ancestor, the pogfish. And then along came Zeus. He hurled his Zeus. lightning bolt. Did it suddenly cool because Zeus just like fornicated with just a random woman he saw? He saw the pogfish and he couldn't hold himself back. What? 
Why am I friends with you two? <laughs> look at that! Many still haunt the deep sea. Oh my- Look at that! Why are you being amazed? I mean, this is just real life footage. This isn't CGI. I know. That's why I'm so amazed by it. I'm I'm just ignore I'm I'm just I'm just appreciating the beauty of nature. That's one thing I can compl like even though I was a little bummed out that it was mostly f that later episodes mostly focused on modern stuff. I will admit this does rem stuff like this does remind me that today's animals are pretty cool as well. The oh! oh! <laughs> Your turn to scream. Currently, I am covering the screen, B buddy. I know that I scream whenever I see spiders and mice, but at least I can look at them after I'm done screaming. <laughs> look, I'm sorry, I just got- I, I, I just got a sudden crab jump scare. Why is the shrimp having a rave? <laughs> <laughs> the Meg. That's- Oh no, it's Donkey You idiot! <laughs> Donkey. Oh, that looks good though. Yeah. Is it just me, or are some of these effects like- Topping prehistoric planets. <laughs> Is it? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I can see that. Ah, look at this. Look at it. <laughs> Mommy, why are we in your mouth? Shut up. <laughs> <I'll eat> you. <laughs> Especially you, Billy. I should have swallowed you years ago. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> the sharks. Oh no, not the sharks. They gotta eat us all. Older than trees. And have been feared. Oh dang, that Ducky. is something. Sharks are older than trees. <laughs> Imagine being that old. <laughs> <laughs> <We're> fucking ancient. <laughs> oh, I wanna die. Back in my day, we didn't have these fancy things called trees. We breathe <laughs> off of stuff called plankton. These, these plants, they keep calling these kids keep on saying. Why do I have a hook in my mouth? Plankton in Spongebob is an absolute supervillain. Yeah, so this is Plankton's- because Plankton caused a mass extinction. Exactly. A sudden surge what? And there it is. Something so small. For those unable to escape the sludge, there was only one possible outcome. Wow. Mwah, mwah. Boom. <laughs> just the end of smoke. <laughs> Look at it, it's so cute. Why are you rolling my shit? Like, lift on plunit. Live on our planet. It's the dawn of the Jurassic period. Did we just get the Triassic? You chose to. to ever walk the earth are on the rise. <gasps> Macrocanthosaurus. What? Look at the moon. The moon! It, it has a face. Oh no, it's just the Allosaurus. Yes. I will say I do adore the atmosphere here. Oh, look at that! That is so sick. I find it funny like we're we're just genuinely just watching this. Yeah. This is so amazing. <laughs> we're not even doing any commentary or silly voices. Yeah. Can I confirm where the Allosaurus actually like lives in terms of biome? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> what the fuck? Did? Oh! <laughs> the movements on the head. It was like a confused bird. I seen it in a desert. I've seen it in France. This one scene has grabbed me more than pretty much the entirety of Prehistoric Planet Season 2. Yeah. The Blasphemy. Mm. 
I don't think I've trod on. Just get stepped on. That's how it dies. Just gets curb stomped. Mama. Oh no. Brother. Help me, brother. No, I'm going to kill you in the middle of the night. I almost got trod on. Good, you should have. Mimi. Mommy? Is that you? Kill yourself. I will say, I loved that sequence before. With the Allosaurus? Yeah. I'm like, when that was happening, I was legitimately like leaning into the screen. Oh, yes, yes. Hope you enjoyed it, because that's the, that's the only time we see Allosaurus. All right, I'm fine with that. Oh, okay. To my brother, his main problem with this show is that there's like, aside from episode two, all the other episodes focus so much on the modern stuff. That's the because th the thing is, I like the modern stuff, I really do, but it's like, it takes up so much space of the documentary when this was like, supposed to be like a prehistoric show, and the prehistoric stuff takes like, I don't know, 10% of the whole documentary? But I, in fairness, I, I thought this show was literally about like, planet as a whole. Yeah, same. Prehistoric stuff would only take up 10%. <laughs> yeah, but that, 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 that's disappointing, isn't it? At the like, it's a bit, it's bittersweet. It's like, this is this is good stuff, but it's not dinosaur stuff like we wanted. Wait, how did we even get to flowers? Weren't we talk? Weren't we just looking at an Allosaurus a second ago? I don't know. Cause that's another thing. A, a lot. That's another thing I don't like about the jumping to modern stuff is that most of the time it's very inconsistent. Like episode two was the best of it, where it's like. They talked about ocean stuff, so of course, we're gonna talk a little bit more about the ocean. Things that lived in the ocean. Things that were around during the prehistoric oceans. It made sense. This one's like, oh, we have an Allosaurus hunting a baby. But now let's talk about some flowers instead. God, that's disgusting. <laughs> just, just don't be so rude. Oh, little guy. Ooh, okay. Oh, he's so cute. The feathers look a little rough. It's so oh, cute! I'm going to eat- I'm going to eat the beetle! Oh, the beetle! I'm going to eat the beetle! <laughs> That's right! Oh yeah, the those are Jurassic World feet. I'm super why fluffy. It, just I want to hug it. Why, why is it grey yeah, That's right. I'm feathered. I'm a bird. I'm going to fly away! It, right. it looks so cool. And people say that, like, realistic, look like, me, versions huh? of them who looks bad. Look at this! No. Mom! Okay. Ah! Those feathers are rough. <laughs> is that a good thing or a bad thing? Bad. Oh. Well, screw you! I don't care about your opinion! My mama says I'm special! You're not! I think I think they look better than the raptors in PP2. Mm, nah, I'm nah, not I don't sure see about it. that. <laughs> yeah. I could be. It has been a they while. They look. I think they're the. Now that I'm getting a look at them, they remind me of the Pyroraptor from Dominion. With the different head. Yeah. This is definitely- this is 100% the Pyraptor with a different head then. Oh yeah, that is. Like, the tail's the same. <gasps> Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> that looked so good! That looked real! Uh, Look at that! Seated. Seated. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him shake his- <laughs> Look at him shake the booty! <laughs> <laughs> the way it's running! It looks like a little burpy little- <laughs> Dramatic music intensifies! <laughs> now this is cinema. Okay, get ready for the absolute dumbfounding transition ever. Transition? Oh. Transition. Oh, hello there! We were just talking about Deinonychus, and our next segment is transitioning to this. Are these ants? Pretty much. This is honestly the moment where I truly broke with the modern stuff. I mean, the juxtaposition is kind of funny. You go from, like, a cool hunting scene with Deinonychus's... But it's, it's like, it's termites. so... That's, that's so... Ah! Uh, like, we got, like, five minutes of Deinonychus hunting, and he's suddenly like, okay, Deinonychus are cool. Deinonychus hunt in packs. But you know, want to know what else works in a group? Ants. Let's I talk mean, about ants. ants. Cool. Come on. Yeah, but I didn't come I'm here Morgan for Freeman. ants! I'm Morgan Freeman. <laughs> this is a Deinonychus. 
But let me tell you about ants for another half an hour. <laughs> the thing that really tears me apart is that even though I don't want the ants to be here, what's about to happen is actually really cool. What's your, what's your complaint, man? Because I wanted dinosaurs, but I don't want the ants. But the thing the ants are about to do is cool. So I'm torn. <laughs> so why do you complain to give it's cool? Because I didn't want... It's a full... It's a full circle. <laughs> I'm literally, it's, I'm tearing, it's tearing myself apart. I'm not too sure if I'm a big fan of the structure of the show, though. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's it. That's the problem. We went from Deinonychus to Ant. Have it been chronological order? Uh, yeah, I, w I would have thought, because it, because uh, the show is like showing all life, I would have thought it would have started at like, obviously the beginnings, worked its way out, and then like episode three was like, dinosaurs. Of course, they had to cut back to modern time. But if they wanted to cut back to modern time and talk about some sort of pack hunting creature like the Deinonychus, why not go to something like the Harrison Hawk? Uh, that's a bird, a modern dinosaur, that actually hunts in packs. Imagine filming this. <laughs> you get paid to watch ants and termites fight. I mean, to make this into like a true comedic bit, they, they have these shots, like with ants killing termites and termites killing gags with all the dramatic music. <laughs> the war is so bloody. And then they just cut to an outer mm. shot of a cameraman, like, zooming in. <laughs> 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 just a little bit more, Darren. Yeah. And the, th the real gut puncher is that, that the, the Deinonychus bit was, like, what, less than five minutes? And this ant thing is probably going to go on for quite a lot longer. Yeah, because it costs a lot less money. <laughs> That's the thing. I guess that is the side effect of hiring, like, one of, if not the biggest visual effects company in the world. They end up being really, really expensive. Anyway, yeah, look, it's that shot from the first episode. Again! I feel like the first episode was more of a recap of what's to come. A recap. recap of what's to come. <laughs> yes. Ooh, anyway, yeah, hello. another transition. Like, here are the dinosaurs. But you know what else was in the dinosaurs? Mammals. I want to hear this actually. Hey, look, it's Mickey. <laughs> He's made it on the screen. That's why he broke in. He wanted to see his part. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm just it... gonna sit on them. <laughs> this is where I sit. Let me just let's yes. let here. And this all get off of me. This all came it's at the. A... Oh, look at that. The dinosaur stuff is over. We got like one minute of recycled footage from the first episode, and now we're talking about mammals. <laughs> this this is kind of why I have to say this is kind of my one of my least favorite episodes. Why Even though it's a source segment, I know, but it's like that's only five minutes. I, I I do get that. Like it is like it cuts to the dinosaur. You're thinking, okay, here's like a segment, and then they just moved on. <laughs> Like that Myasaur oh, okay. bit. We just got, we talked about Myasaur for like a minute and then we're immediately back to the present. To be fair, I think that main bit was to establish that, to show when the first mammals were. I think this whole bit is supposed to be about the mammals and not the dinosaurs again. Exa but this is the dinosaur episode! And again, it's again, this is a, I like... <laughs> That is so horrifying. It's like, what I like this! Was. I like to see this, but ugh! It's like, literally like an eldritch horror. We're getting- Does that actually... Oh no! no it oh does. no! <laughs> Are you sure dinosaurs are in oh, the next episode, Zane? <gasps> the T-Rex? Oh, Hello. Look at that chunky thigh. God damn, it's buff. Long. Look at it. I've seen bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way the sun is uh the sun is presented there. It's it's called a lens flare thing. <laughs> Shut up, I didn't study cameras. Stop 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 mocking me. Ooh, one has one's very red. And the other one isn't. Sexual dimorphism? Yes and no. How can that be a yes and no question? I adore this segment. 
Although it does fail in comparison to the Carla Taurus uh, show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was this big, Brad. It was this big. Oh, yeah, because that, because that was aiming to be comedic. This isn't. Oh. Aww. Oh, only the male has quills. And now they f I mean, Orca, you. You would. You would be right. Oh, I think I know what's coming. I'm about to ruin this whole man's career! <laughs> Wait! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is the... Oh my gosh. What a wonderful Wait. moment. Ruined by that. Can you please pause that for a second? I need, I need that. I just had whiplash there. <laughs> That is the most darkest ending to the sitcom I've ever seen. <laughs> Buddy friend, he, f he finally found a mate. Oh, there was a divorce in between. He got rid of the kids. <laughs> and he's finally found love again. Gotten out the, under the dark, the, like, the dark oppression of the, of the company that wants him to force, needs force him to keep on doing the stupid sitcom. And he finally finds love again. And he just dies. <laughs> just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. This is a post-apocalyptic winter. I was full up for. <laughs> Once again, I think this show just nails the atmosphere. Yeah. Oh, there was a skip intro button. I didn't see it this whole time. <laughs> you idiot. Oh, look. Oh my god, it's the same animation. <laughs> yep. But a, but it's a different dinosaur. Oh my god, it's literally the same animation. Yep. They just swapped the models. I, I, I'd say it's the same model, but with just different colors and a crest. So a different model. Are they just... Sh oh, it didn't chase after them. No, kids, that's not how you hunt. <laughs> I'm getting a serious case of deja vu! Your bloody failure. Ooh. Oh, that's right. Ah, that's Thank right. You. Ah, I forgot. These things had appeared in a previous episode. Zane. I always forget because it's just so randomly placed. And it's like, you said you wanted the dinosaurs and those technically aren't dinosaurs? <laughs> hmm. I won't, I won't kill you this time. <laughs> this time? <laughs> Oh! Oh, we've seen the canonical end again. <laughs> so it wasn't small. It was the size of Mount Everest! I guess compared to Earth, Mount Everest is just small. <laughs> yeah. So what, this is the third time we're talking about the meteor in this in this series? That is true. Out of the seven mass extinctions, this one isn't that special. Compared to Plankton taking over the world, this one's an accident. That one was more terrifying. This is just an accident. Dorothy! Dorothy, no! At least I didn't die cancer this time, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, this is the first time they made the extinction look beautiful. Like, usually it's like dark and dreary, but nope, there, there's still plenty of sun and trees as they're just getting flooded away. I'm like, this shot is both. <laughs> the sharks are laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Skill issue, bro. <laughs> bro, we've been here many times. We have survived quite a few mass extinctions, to be honest. Even the plankton one. God, that was terrifying. Oh, yeah. So my question is, did we ever find out where the meteor is? Yeah, it's in the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah. Oh. Is there, like, is it, like, a, 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 like a tourist attraction there or something? Yeah, you can see the crater from space. Oh. Hey, look. It's your old friend, Indominus. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't tell me you meant to show this. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. So I just looked up the cr the asteroid. Dang. That's big. The forests. That's what she said. The plains. Why? Lifeless. But I Lifeless? That's how I left your mum last night. <laughs> Shut up. You both, you both need to zip it. <laughs> Cause this structure is weird. Yeah. Like, oh, way, way, exactly. way weird. <laughs> That's why I completely... felt like the end, like, 
three times. That's why I completely forgot about- Because the thing about the Pliosaur bit you saw, that we saw in this episode, he had kind of his own segment, except it was mostly about turtles. I do think seeing the dinosaurs after the asteroid does kind of weaken the impact of it. Yeah, this- this- uh, the, it's very weirdly structured. Oh, yum. Look at it. Yum. I want- I want to pet it. Hold it gently like a hamburger. Oh, look at that face. A Synraptor? But... Is it really? Yeah, that's that's the body of the Jurassic aloe. That's no, that's just the aloe. No, no, the head's different. It is? Yeah, slightly. Yeah, but this is really random. It's like we've gone back to the dinosaurs after like witnessing their end like twice or three times now. This is really weirdly structured. Yeah, just as weird as Deinonychus and suddenly ants. I think the individual segments. Are peak, but the actual structure b between them isn't. Yeah. Yeah. Like honestly, to be honest, it's just a re-editing thing. Yeah. Oh, I guess they're set. I guess they're setting up. Oh, birds, are dinosaurs, and oh, this is the example of their first. Yeah, but they could have set this up in the last episode instead of talking about ants. Yeah. Yeah. See, that, that kind of makes, this segment makes sense. We're, we were talking about a dinosaur, like a bird, a flying dinosaur, and now we're looking at the perfected version of that, the bird. That makes sense. I'm coming after you, boy. I've never been so scared of an owl before my entire life. Is this like a Michael Bay movie? Or is it the explosions? Oh my god, bees. Bees! <laughs> You like jazz? According to all known laws of aviation, it's so long. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, come on! We're literally comparing sizes. <laughs> These are done. About the size of a modern day llama. So, this thing gets to have a name, but the terror bird is just terror bird. That's all I've called them. Well, there's like, what kind of terror bird? Gastornis, Forosrachus, Kalenkin. The terror bird. Oh my god, look how edgy it is. With that red eye paint. I love it. Oh. It's green. It's green? I thought it was grey. No, that's just... No, it's the sort of the hue. It's the lighting. It's the atmosphere. Oh, it actually does have a bit of green. Oh, wait, do we need to talk over this or what? <laughs> Not really, I'm just enjoying this. Okay. I'm just wondering about copyright and whatnot. This is supposed to be commentary video. <laughs> oh, fuck, it is. The greatest invaders of them all. British people. I want your tea. <laughs> I want your spices. I want your fish and chips. <laughs> so we just jam... <laughs> he just high-fived his pal. <laughs> Penguins. Not, not. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Okay, my best Rico impression. <laughs> no, no, no. You forgot all the choking. <laughs> epic, final epic chapter. Oh, yeah, because we're killing them. Oh, here we go again! <laughs> <laughs> this guy died twice in the same video. <laughs> mm, so sad. Did he just look into the camera? Yeah. Yeah. So, Zane, since you've already seen the show, what did you think of this? Okay. So, I like it. I don't like it as much as Prehistoric Planet, but that, like, then again, I can see now that the, like, you two have like helped me realize this, these are trying to be two different things. And it was just, they marketed it as a prehistoric show when really it's mostly just a show, of, it's a documentary that just has prehistoric stuff in it. And uh, the stuff, the little prehistoric stuff that is in it, most of it is really good. Like what you said, the scene with the Allosaurus, the scene with the, 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 the Deinonychus. And again, I really like all the stuff in episode two. Honestly, episode two, I loved all of that. Because that, that, 
Because, like, other episodes, like, there are segments where I'm, like, kind of iffy on where... Again, the ant thing. I'm really torn. I like it, but it's, like, why is it there? And then the the, the episode two, that one just has all the... Every, everything that shows, showed up in that episode, I loved all of it. So that's why it's my favorite episode. Orca, you can go next. Acting was awful. You know, the smile was <laughs> on at the end, looking at the camera. Oh, rookie mistake. You know, we never really saw much of Nigel Marvin. That was a, a very sad segment. Uh, but overall, you know, all the other actors played their roles well, um, especially in the um, in, in the prehistoric eras that we, where we mainly focused on. Uh, but the T-Rex, I didn't have any feathers, so zero out of ten. Bro, I'm here giving a serious review, and you just... <laughs> what do you mean? I am being serious. Okay, yeah, okay, got it. Indominus, what about you? I thought that was... A lot of that was wonderful. Like, every single segment in the past, peak dinosaur. Like, yeah, a lot of the designs, they aren't accurate. However, literally everything else is great in those scenes. Hmm. And I do, and, and, and as I've mentioned multiple times, I do think overall this would be stronger if it was told chronologically. Like, you, like you start at the creation of you start at the creation of everything, and then over time you, you go through the different phases of the world one by one until you get to the present day. Like, like, like you very obviously have like the dinosaur episode, you have the terabits stuff, and the ice age and stuff pre dinosaurs. Just, I really think this show needs re-editing. That's, that's, <laughs> if that's where I really think this show needs to, needs to be, could be improved. You know, Deinonychus is a very cool animal that works together. But you know what else works together? Ants. So Zane, any final words? Stuck with a face of permanent surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Orca, any final words? <laughs> I'm Morgan Freeman, and this is, uh... Indominus, any last words? <laughs> uh... Life on our planet. Goodbye. <laughs>